find it really annoying when twins wear the exact same outfit unless they're conjoined. I was reading a book about prolonged hand cramps and uh, I just couldn't put it down. <laughs> Playing the bagpipes is the same as saying, I don't care for others. <laughs> I am opening up a spray tan salon for Hebrews. It's called Orange Juice. It's common now for people to use the phrase, it is what it is. I'm not sure what this phrase means, but I think it equates to, I'm not good at thinking, but I sure do like talking. <laughs> Guess I'm gonna work the crowd now for a little bit. Take this guy for example. Am I right? Did you know there are people with a mental condition whereby they practice self-cannibalism by eating their own flesh? I think this is a bit arrogant. It's like saying, I taste better than everything. <laughs> and you can't have any. Do you think the KKK meets after Labor Day? That was an IQ test, you guys failed. <laughs> when comedian Louis C.K. performs for Hispanic audiences, he's introduced as Louis Yes What. It, this is Latino night, right? Yeah. It turns out that a college student recently invented soy Play-Doh, which has proved to be great for children with wheat allergies, <laughs> unless they speak Spanish. Soy Play-Doh? Yo no soy Play-Doh. Yo soy Aristotle. Do you think platonic friends would mean the same thing if Plato had game? <laughs> two for two. <laughs> I really like comedy writing, but I'm currently working on a side project. It's a book about gender relations within the Muslim community. It's called, Men are from Al-Qaeda, Women are from Hezbollah. <laughs> it's a coloring book. If there's anything I know about women, it's that they like two things. Poetry and being bombarded by pickup lines. So I've combined them for extra potency. These are my haiku pickup lines. And don't bother counting, I know they're right. I came over cuz you were winking at me, oops. That's a facial tick. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Too good to say hi, huh? Oh, that's a mannequin. Mmm, <laughs> girl. That's two syllables. Mmm, girl. You look good. I just can't wait to meet you. Wake up from coma. Excuse me, miss. What's your name? Great.
Gandhi once said, an eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. It doesn't. It leaves one guy with one eye. <laughs> Unless the blind people can catch him. Think it through next time, Gandhi. <laughs> have you noticed that the Beatles have been dying in order of coolness? Got a lot of Ringo fans, apparently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Touchy. One difference between men and women is that black people love Kool-Aid. <laughs> that joke is efficient. I have a theory that John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt from the children's song was the victim of two feminist parents who decided to give him both of their last names. His father thought his name would be too long, but his mother kept insisting, his name is my name too. I, uh, I recently met a transvestite whose name was Tucker, which I thought was redundant. <laughs> Thanks for laughing at that. I bet anorexics feel left out whenever they read the children's book, Everyone Poops. I recently went to a Revolutionary War reenactment, but I was running kind of late, so I just wore jeans. But an official stopped me and said that I had to wear pants from that time period. And I was like, knickers? Please. Forget you guys. I guess I'll conclude with some your mama jokes. I really like your mama jokes, but sometimes I find they're so over the top, they're unrealistic. So I've written some that hit a little bit closer to home, <laughs> at least in my neighborhood. Your mama is so stupid that her 401k is undiversified. <laughs> yeah, I came to throw down. Your mama is so fat that her blood pressure is probably 150 over 90. <laughs> which isn't really that bad, but she'll have to keep an eye on it. <laughs> and finally, your mama is so black that for me to joke about it would be unacceptable in our culture. <laughs>